Good morning. I went into the kitchen and, you know, I have half of the kitchen clean. The other counter is like full of stuff that I can't put away because I don't have a fruit stand at our. Anyway, so I went in and I was like, oh, there's no ants. But then I pull up the, um, the towel that I have for drying dishes, you know, the overfill of dishes. And there was ants under it. So I sprayed it with vinegar water. So here's my solution. I just put, you know, enough vinegar in there where you can smell it. There were the pile of ants underneath of the towel, and they're dead. There was some more stragglers. They're dead as well. That killed them immediately. So I've been spraying down through here. They're coming in through here outside where the uh, uh, steps are. So had our sprayed outside. I sprayed all along here. When they put the cabinets up, I guess they weren't a perfect fit and they really uh, put a bunch of stuff in here to fill up the hole. <laughs> Look at that plug-in, that light switch way up there. It's about seven foot tall. So this is uh, pretty much clean. I didn't clean the sink out yet, but and I have to make tea and I just didn't even fool with this because this all has to go and be put away. I shouldn't even have my potatoes out here. Yeah. Yeah. There's my meal plan. Hadar printed it out and then the baby got got it down off of the freezer, so that was not good. Trying to carb cycle. Yeah. Well that just looks like crap. I have to wash that diaper out, but what I think I'm going to do with this is take the rocks off and the pictures because it looks too cluttery. You know, I'm trying to streamline stuff and then Hadar's like, you have all this foliage everywhere and it, it makes it look cluttery and I'm like, you want me to take it down? He said, no, I like it. And I said, well, what do you want then? What do you want? <laughs> he makes these comments and then he's like, I don't want you to do anything about it. <laughs> Here's the vitamins I've been taking every day. I have prenatal formula with iron, even though I do not need iron. I actually need to have my blood drawn to lower my iron. And I have DHA 200 and calcium 600. And these are from GNC, and these are the ones that I was taking while I was pregnant. I bought a whole bunch, but I'm bad with taking pills, so I didn't take them all. <laughs> And this ZMA, which has zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6. And it's from Israel, and it was really expensive. It was like 230 shekels or something. But Hadar bought it for me. He thought that, you know, if I could get rid of my spasms, it would be good. And, and it did. Meow, baby. I don't get your jokes early in the morning. I don't get it. And I don't appreciate it. I just want you to pet me. You ruffled my fur. Such a priss. So the baby's not up yet. I have no idea what I did to deserve this. <laughs> but I actually was able to get a lot done. Uh, the living room still tore up from last night. I didn't clean that. But I did some other stuff around the house. I did some stuff online. I was able to complete a lot of things, so I'm really happy and I can actually have a day or two off of doing things, so I'm glad about that. I still have a lot of emails to answer, but it does take me a long time because I, I think about what I say. I don't just give a response, you know what I mean? I don't want to, you know, just brush anybody off, but it gets... Uh, mentally overwhelming sometimes so I have to take a break from that sometimes. I kind of stayed up for about an hour last night just thinking uh, about certain people who you know when you get in a situation and everybody judges you uh, based on the decisions that you make and that's it's really none of their business I guess how you handled a situation. You just have to think to yourself these people they're not paying your bills they're surely not going to share a grave with you. 
uh, they don't have to live in your everyday life and uh, live with your choices so just cut them out you know cut them out what what does it matter what somebody says about you uh, the the decisions that you've made or how you live your life or what you choose to wear or anything I wonder why people care so much about other people in that way they don't want to help they want to criticize and I, I wonder if that makes them feel better about their life and their decisions that they have made because nobody's perfect my god you have maybe 50 choices of something that you need to decide on or maybe you only have two choices you know but any which one you make is going to be wrong to somebody so you just have to cut these criticizers out of your life I mean if they're giving constructive criticism or help or advice uh, you need to keep an open mind to listen to them and I always try to do that especially on YouTube I'm not ex I'm not talking about YouTube in this case but especially about YouTube if somebody g gave me advice probably two years ago I would have been like oh they hate me they think I do everything wrong you know I would have took it personally but now I take it as maybe I should you know hear what they're saying and and listen to it and maybe apply that to my life I I have a more open mind now because I've gotten so much advice over the years and I have learned to listen to people's experience so not everybody's experience is going to be the same but if somebody experienced something good because they did something different I don't see why not why not listen to them why not try it I feel like I've lived like several different lives I have been one way for a very long time I have been another way for a very long time my beliefs have changed my mind has been more open to other things Kitty is so pretty meow I have a pretty tail. Swish your tail back and forth. Swish your tail back and forth. Would be good. Kitty, you better stop. You better stop going crazy. Kitty. Stop it. When she does this, she usually tears something up, so I'm hoping she doesn't. She peed in the uh, plant again. I actually have it near the door for her daughter to take downstairs and dump out. We're going to get new soil for it and a new plant, hopefully. So, yeah, she peed in it again the other day, and it stinks. Hopefully, he'll take that downstairs tonight, and we'll get to go and buy a plant here pretty soon. Uh, I want a tree again. They look so pretty. We need to hide this wire so a nice tree right here would be nice but I keep killing the ficus plants. How do I kill a ficus? They're supposed to like live forever and they're in the desert even like at the park they're 50 feet tall and they're real thick and it's a desert. It doesn't rain here so they're living out there but they can't live in my house. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to inspire you to be yourself. Don't copy anybody, but if you see somebody who's living a life that you would like to have, try to implement some of the things that they're doing. You know, um, I think we all look at each other to get inspiration for things in our life. So even though you might not live like someone else is living, take one aspect of their life and try to apply it to yours you gotta fake happy until it's true right so just keep a positive attitude and basically you can get through anything if you can laugh about everything you can get through anything i think i laugh at kitty all the time tearing my stuff up if you want optimal health you need to return to a diet of real whole foods 
fresh organic produce, meats from animals raised sustainably on pasture, and raw organic milk and eggs. This is on Mercola today. This just makes more sense to me. At the top of the pyramid, grains and sugars, minimal to no consumption. One down is fruits. Consume fruit in moderation, limit fructose to below 25 grams a day. And then next is protein from really good sources. Not everybody can afford this, I can't afford that. But I do choose which things that I buy organic. At the very bottom, which you should base like, you know, most of your meal on, healthful fats and veggies. Not everybody can afford organic vegetables, but you have to pick and choose which ones you think are worthy of buying organic. Move, cat! Get out the way, cat! Get out the way, cat! Get out the way! And you think she's not a princess? She's sitting in my chair. She says, oh, hold on, I have an itch. I have an itch I must scratch. Pause the video. Kitty. <laughs> really? You definitely have a personality, don't you? It's so pretty. Wow, that's some good dancing. He's still got that rash, but it's almost gone. And then we'll start on the uh, cloth diapers again. Wee! He's eating his snacks. He's got a whole apple. Well, he's got half left. And some tomatoes. A rice cracker. And what else do you got over there? Oh, some potatoes from last night that he didn't finish. Some chunked up fried potatoes. Woo! Can you dance? Yeah. Awesome. Wow. You're like square dancing and stuff? Yeah. Yeah? Is that contemporary lyrical? Oh yeah? Can you sing and dance? No. Oh. No. No, you can't? Nah. Nah, you wanna sing? La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, where did you go? You doing the moonwalk in there? Come on, come in here and dance. Oh, by the way, I'm watching Dance Moms. I am almost done with season three now, and I figured out how to change my screen saver thing, or whatever, make a slideshow. Finally figured it out. How old am I now? How long have I had a computer? Oh, really? I've had a computer about 17 years. So I put a whole bunch of pictures of me, Hadar, the baby, Zeb, my mom, and that changes every 30 seconds. Well, it's dinner time, and I'm cooking the easiest possible meal. Got water boiling in my kettle. We're gonna have some chicken. I'm going to put the boiled water in the broccoli and the boiled water in the rice. I just noticed my rice pan looks really dirty. Maybe because I burn my food all the time. But this is really easy rice. I just have turmeric, salt pepper, a little stevia, and smoked paprika. And this is going to be like a yellow rice mixture. As soon as my water boils. Woohoo! This is how I actually cook my rice. 
I put double the amount of water in there. So I just let it boil until it gets to a raging boil. I forget what you call it. It's a raging boil though. And then when it gets to a raging boil, I stir it once, let it boil again, and then I turn it off and let it sit. It makes perfect rice. I don't put a lid on it or nothing. So this is going to be an easy dinner tonight. I'm going to wait until Hadar is closer to home. All right, and this is how that looks when it's done. I'm going to put a little tub of cream cheese in it. Wait, this isn't cream cheese. This is sour cream. So it's going to be like a creamy, smoky rice. Really? Yeah, he's... Sorry about that. Him's crying because he can't have a... A food processor cutter. This is the baby's dinner tonight. The rice, broccoli, and chicken. This is his lunch tomorrow, so I don't have to cook. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is uh, Hadar's. He's he's half starved to death, I think. Are you half starved to death? Wait. Oh, okay. So he has three pieces of chicken breast, and it was marinated in soy sauce and sesame oil and cooked in that, okay. only that, so. broccoli and the rice, but I also put uh, raw onions in it and a little chili powder. <laughs> <I'm> eating. <laughs> the baby's making me laugh, show what the baby's doing. <laughs> I had to film Andrea first so you don't think we um, staged, staged all this. Eat. <laughs> Eat. It's telling ya. Yummy. Mmm. <laughs> good job. Is it good? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eat. 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 Oh, now you can't talk. You got two pieces in your mouth. I gave him a whole piece and then he ripped it in half and stuck it on his fingers. Because you're a funny boy, aren't you? Everyone in this family is funny in their own way. Yeah, I'm glad we have some comedic relief in the house. But I was telling me comic a... Comic relief. Comedic. Comic. Comedic is plural. <laughs> Hadar was telling me about this uh, girl that came up to him and asked him, you don't have any feelings? And he said, I don't know, do I? And then, he, and then she said, you don't love your wife? Love is a feeling you And know? then I'm like, <laughs> why did that conversation come up? I'll film myself going to the pen with a Polaris and show you how, what happens when I get there. I don't initiate conversation, I just look at people and they talk to me. <laughs> Raphael's doing what I think. His teeth are black with olive. Hi. I'm told most kids when faced with this. Don't laugh. But he's yeah. laughing. <laughs> Give me the camera. Me. Me, me, me. More me time. <laughs> Serious face makes him laugh. What kind of baby are you? <laughs> okay. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. Unbelievably, unbearably hot. No. We're in the no phase, I think. Wow, doing the worm? Oh, I didn't get to do any of it. <laughs> Ew. Rafael, <laughs> knee. How?